a year. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporter doing the Eagles. It's a serious question. Are y'all tanking? Are y'all tanking on us? America's tank. You know what I'm saying? You're no longer America's team. You're America's tank. It's Cowboys week, and it's a lot of stuff happening. The trade deadline is approaching. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Listen, the Dallas Cowboys are embarking in a fire cell right before our showdown, basically for the division. You know what I'm saying? They're embarking in a fire cell. Now, anytime you let go of Everson Griffin, Anytime you just start cutting people that you brought in to shore up, to shore up the squad, like Don Terrio Poe, Worley, you know what I'm saying, Ha Ha Clinton Dix, you brought these dudes in to shore up the squad. So it's no, it's no way in the world that nobody going to tell me these dudes ain't tanking. And a lot of people upset. You know what I'm saying? They upset on the stance that I'm taking. What Cowboys. Cowboys fans. They upset on the stance that I'm taking. As far as how I see this team materializing out right now. This is a team that's tanking. This is a team that doesn't have pride. They have no ambitions in getting a hat like this. This is a team that's lost their way. And I like what I see from our team on the flip side. The Philadelphia Eagles, they understand. They understand what's going on. They know it's Dallas week. They know this is a big week for the city. So despite this team being crap, we still got to go out there and beat the crap out of them, period. That's just how the dice roll. Carson Wentz is saying he still respects the defense. Everybody's coming into this thing with a modest approach. We're not taking anything for granted. We're not taking anything for granted. You know what I'm saying? And look, man, at the end of the day, we got to go out there and we got to handle our business. The Philadelphia Eagles have been linked to a few uh, linebackers before the trade deadline. Nothing too serious. I've been hearing all types of rumors. You're going to hear the rumors. I've been hearing Ortega Whiteside on the block. I've been hearing Alshon Jeffrey on the block. I've been hearing Amari Cooper on the block, Michael Gallup on the block. And that's just, you know what I'm saying? That's just within the division. I've been hearing Sam Darnold on the block. So we still got a couple days, and I think we got a lot of time left before we can see some fireworks. You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to go down the further we go along. But the thing um, the thing about it is a lot of reports are coming out and saying that we are sellers. I mean, we're I'm sorry, we're buyers. We're not sellers, we're buyers. We are looking at into capitalizing on this situation especially with the division being so weak we're looking to capitalize so 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 are the redskins and so are the giants the you 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 see what i'm saying i'm sorry so are the football team and so are the giants the dallas cowboys however are tanking don't let nobody tell you different they acquired everson griffin they 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 they, they let go of donterio poe those are two dudes who they brought in who they thought was going to make this line explosive. They're going to keep Alden Smith. They're going to keep Tank. And they have no interior rush anymore. You know what I'm saying? Everson Griffin was one of the sack leaders on that team, I think. He was in the top three. They are tanking. They're America's tank. You cannot spin it. This is a fire sale. You know what I'm saying? So own up to it. Own up to it. You know what I mean? But... I can never, uh, I don't know the last time my team took this course of action, especially with a division being this, being this close. You know what I mean? Listen, this is all I'm hearing. The division trash while y'all want to win it. We want to win it so Carson Wentz can get more playoff experience. Playoff experience turns into Super Bowls. Never heard of a first, I've never heard of a quarterback making his first appearance in the playoffs and winning the Super Bowl. Never heard of it. Nick Foles had a playoff, a playoff, a playoff appearance before he won it. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your feet wet. You got to get the experience. And why not go and get a home playoff game? Come on, bro. It's simple mathematics. We want to win a Super Bowl. We got to go to the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? And I think that this team can heat up at the right time and absolutely do that. You got some pieces coming back. Um, you got Jalen Rager coming back. Really excited for Jalen Rager to come back because a lot of people wrote him off too early, in my opinion. We tend to do that way too soon in Philadelphia Eagles culture. We like to write these guys off before we can really see a full sample of what they did. Now, we saw a big enough sample of Ortega Whiteside. He basically played all last season. Nothing materialized from it. We saw a big enough sample from Mac Hollins. Nothing materialized from it. You know what I'm saying? This is Jalen Rager's time. I think Jalen Rager's going to go out there and show off. He's going to go out there and show off. John Hightower, one of only three wide receivers in the NFL with multiple 50-yard receptions. Come on, bro. The pieces are around us. This is what I don't like. Jason Peters is returning, ladies and gentlemen. 
And Jason Peters is going to take valuable snaps from Jordan Mailata. He's been practicing with the first team. I don't like that. We should have had a plan B to move Jason Peters somewhere else. Can you imagine Jordan Mailata and Jason Peters on the line at the same time? Mailata has shown you that there's no need for Dillard. You know, Mailata has absolutely shown you that there's no need for Dillard. I think I think Andre Dillard's job is up in air at this point. We can get some great listen, listen, we can get something back for him of substance. If he wasn't hurt, I think he'd be on a trading block. You know what I'm saying? And Jason Peters, who's at the end of his career, coming back and taking some of these snaps from this guy who's taken the, the necessary steps forward. We wrote him off. We threw him out there to the wolves and he proved that what you see in practice don't really equate to the games all the time. So, you know, I got, I got a little, I'm a little frustrated with us not riding my ladder out for the duration of the season. But at the end of the day, what do you got Jason Peters there for? To help take some of the pressure off some of these guys like this. When a, guy, when a guy's making strides like Jordan Mailata, you got to keep him in the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, these are two guys that I think the Philadelphia Eagles should probably target with this, you, you know, uh, trade deadline winding down. I really think we need a, we need a power back. Even though Miles Sanders' injury wasn't as serious as everybody's thinking, he's listed his day to day. We need a power back. I wouldn't be opposed to, uh, um, I wouldn't be opposed to a, a Jordan Howard, you know, reunion. I wouldn't be opposed to that. You know, he didn't really get to show us what he got. We kind of sat him down. You know what I'm saying? He hit free agency. I think Jordan Howard is not being utilized the proper way in Miami, and we need him. We need a guy like that. So one guy I'm thinking of off the bat is Jordan Howard, still young, still still, still got, you know, a lot of tread left on those tires. And another guy I would definitely consider a veteran is Mark Ingram. You know, the Baltimore Ravens aren't using Mark Ingram um, a lot. That's another guy I would consider. Um, I don't see a lot of teams just making guys available. I, I don't understand what's the point of cutting guys right now. You know what I mean? Unless you're trying to make space to go go after a big dog. But at the end of the day, the Philadelphia Eagles still can, we still can improve. We still could get better. We still could get better. You know what I mean? You got to go out there and you got to handle business. I don't care if the Cowboys were a winless team. You got to go out there and you got to perform. You know what I'm saying? We're on the brink of, you know, basically, we're on, we're on, l listen, listen, the Washington football team, Put them in the ground. We're just going to visit the grave site and change the flowers. That's all we're going to do. We're going to visit the grave site and change the flowers. It's not every day that you can say your season was ended by the Washington football team. It's not every day. And I like how these Washington football team fans are feeling good about themselves right now. Listen, we don't play all until the last week of the season. Do you know you'll be nowhere near us in record during that time? You'll be battered, beaten, and, 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 and confused by the time the last week of the season come around. You will fall. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, listen. feel good about yourself right now because you win second place, but you'll come on. It ain't gonna, it, it ain't gonna be that close when it's all said and done. It's not gonna be that close when it's all said and done. You know what I'm saying? And and as far as these giant, it, it, boys for life, you know, I'll say your name, boys for life. I'll bite. Boys for life, I saw your little video. It was cute. It was actually trash. Your facts were all wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, you you running around here saying that the Eagles ain't beat nobody outside the division. I guess the San Francisco 49ers in our division. These guys are not studying football anymore. They're not studying football anymore. Simons too. What part of what part of Everson Griffin being traded basically for a comp pick doesn't tell you that you're tanking? You're tanking. Own it. Own it. I got a video coming up with Law Nation. Uh, we're gonna go live tomorrow. Real treat for you guys. We're gonna talk about the states of our, uh, our of our two teams. You know, they said I was crazy when I said the Giants would be in second, but I still believe the Giants will finish second. The Dallas Cowboys will finish third, or probably fourth now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people also said I was crazy when I said Ryan Tannehill was better than Dak Prescott. It's like 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 that. Come on, come on, come on. How's he not better than Dak Prescott? Stats, 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 listen, the Cowboys were trash before Dak got hurt. Make no mistake about that. They were a one-win team the, the game Dak got hurt in. They were trash. They still trash. Nothing changed. The defense wasn't playing well. The Dallas Cowboys were still giving up 14-point leads in every game they played. That The, the theme is the same. The theme is the same. Y'all want to rant and rave about these numbers that Dak Prescott put up. Well, how come Dak Prescott ain't scoring on every drive? It's coming in garbage time. If the numbers are solidified that Dak Prescott is putting up, then it ain't no 14-point gap during, during, during any, at any point in the game. There's no 14-point gap. Teams don't have the option of going up 14 on you if your offense is scoring every time you touch the ball. Dak, 
That's not what's happening. So we're not going to sit here and make it seem like that the Dallas Cowboys score every time they get the ball. They was getting touched. They was getting touched. And Ben DiNucci, I'm sorry that your first start got to go against these hungry scoundrels who really take it to heart when you got to play the Dallas Cowboys. I don't care if Jerry Jones was the quarterback. We take this week to heart. No, it's not a Super Bowl for us. It's an opportunity to keep somebody down who always open in their mouth. That's all it's about for us. You run your mouth like you win Super Bowls every year. We're the team that reminds you that you nobody. It's the Eagles' duty to do this to y'all this week and every week after that. We remind you that you ain't nobody. We don't leave that We don't leave that to nobody else. Listen, listen. They said y'all was going to the Super Bowl last year. Y'all came into the link and played against practice squad guys. Carson Wentz put y'all down. Put y'all down. Like rabbit dogs. Put y'all down. It's our duty to do this to y'all. So please don't get it confused. No, this ain't a Super Bowl for us. This is just a week that we get to rejoice. We get to rejoice and, 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 and swim in your tears. We get to rejoice at your sorrow. And we're going to do that. We're going to do that. So these Dallas Cowboys guys making all these videos this week, you know, aimed towards me and uh, other Eagles content creators, it's only for their personal benefit. Because you can't tell me a Dallas Cowboys fan right now, a Dallas Cowboys content creator right now, who's going to tell you they're going to win that game. Find me the Dallas top, find me the, find me the content creator right now of, of the Dallas Cowboys nature who's going to tell me they're going to win that game. They not me. They not me. I'm the content creator that go into battle with a roster like the Dallas Cowboys current roster and say we're going to win that game. I'm on record and we pulling it out. They don't believe in that team enough. They ain't beating us though. It don't matter what you say or what you believe. This game is going to be a body. Let me know what you think in the comments. 